sus palmas. How's it going? God bless. Gustavo Romo here with a tutorial on Genesis Campo song, Deleitate en el Señor. We're looking at trombone one. Couple tips that I wanted to go over with you guys, you know, as we're working on the song, as we're trying to figure it out and learn it. Um, this song, it actually, it's fun because we actually start off with the, with the solo. Uh, the violin starts out, and the great thing is that the trombone gets to follow as well. Um, one thing to keep in mind when playing this uh, this intro here is that us trombone players, the reason why we pick trombone is because we just have a soft spot for using that slide. It's so much fun to play and you can create some really creative sounds with it. For example, um, when we're looking at this song, um, I like to play it or you know, the way that it was meant to be played is we're supposed to uh, begin the note and then as we begin it, I want you to scoop up the note like if you were moving up, if like you were almost digging a little bit. Um, check this out. So when we're playing the, the beginning, think of it like this. Think of it as like a rowing motion. Right? And then when you do that with the, the tempo, it actually sounds really fun, you know? Right. And, and utilizing that slide, you get to create some really creative things and it just makes it sound more fun to play. You know, it gives it something interesting to, instead of, you know, what we just heard with the violin. Because the violin, it's a beautiful instrument, right? But with the trombone, you really get to be a little more creative with that sound, right? It, and, you know, once you, once you add that in, um, it just sounds really fun. It sounds fun to listen to and it's fun to play. Another thing that to look at in this song is that when we are listening uh, further in, the trombone two part has a solo as well. You know, it goes bomb, ba ra da di da, ba ba bomb bomb, and then after when the trombone two plays that part, um, 
that line cuts into a harmony and the trombone one gets to take the same melody that the trombone two played and it responds in an octave higher. You know, the... Right, so, you know, when you're playing that, Keep in mind articulation, di da di da da. Nice and articulated notes. A good entrance and creates good musicians, you know, and it creates a good sound for your horn. Um, remember to um, also look at your quality of sound when you're playing. Obviously, you know, we want to sound good when we're playing. You don't, not every moment that we're playing as a trombone player does it have to be loud. It's a re reoccurring theme with trombone players. We want to make sure that every note that we're playing is the best quality of sound that we ourselves can create with our horn. So remember that when we're playing, not everything has to be loud and punchy, but a good way to practice a song is to play it quietly first. Try to play it as quiet as you can. And if you can create a nice sound with it quiet, you're able to recreate that sound but at a, large, a, a louder volume. So let's try, let's try the intro for the um, uh, for um, Deleitate en el Señor. Uh, let's try it at a quiet sound and see if we can um, create a good sounding solo at the beginning but with just a quiet, um, a quiet dynamic level. You know, and then you can just repeat that as many times as you need to. The point of that exercise is to try to get the best sound possible at a quiet dynamic level, at a quiet volume. If you can get yourself to play a really good sound at a low level, chances are that when you have to play it at a louder um, volume, you are able to keep what was good about playing it at that quiet sound and really, you know, uh, enhance your performance level, enhance the way that your instrument sounds when it comes to play at a much higher volume, you know, for example. You know, keeping that nice tone uh, and you'll be able to, uh, in any dynamic, whether you're playing soft, whether you're playing loud, it's always going to sound good. Just a few tips that I thought I'd like to share with you guys. Keep practicing, look over uh, the notes that are provided in the video, go ahead and pause if you need to, look at things, um, you know, if you're having a hard time, pause it, slow it down. I find that when I practice parts slowly, they are easily um, more retainable in my brain and you know it creates better practicing for me. I hope this helps out a little bit. Uh, I know I'm not perfect, I know I'm continuing to grow. I'm not where I wanna be, but I'm on my way there and you are too. God bless everyone, take care, have a good day.